very slick. Welcome back everybody. We're in northwestern Pennsylvania and I got my Lyman flintlock muzzleloader with me. It is extremely windy out. There's actually uh, somewhat of a front that is moving in tonight and it's going to be here uh, for a few days. It's going to bring some snow. Cold, frigid temperatures next week. It's supposed to be 9 degrees on a uh, low of 9 on Monday. I'm sitting over Slava's uh, food plot right here. The last time somebody hunted in here, it was Papa Slava, and he let this 300 H&H rip during rifle season and killed a really nice eight-point buck out of here. So I'm hoping for that kind of luck. I was actually planning on uh, setting up at the round bales out here, and it's just so windy that I... The shanty looked really good. <laughs> It'll be a lot better for videoing out of here too, with the, without that wind in the in the audio. But I got a nice ride up here. Slava happened to be coming up to get some round bales for the beef cows, and was able to hitch a ride. And haven't seen any deer out yet, but they're probably going to stick tight to the woods till right about dark with this wind whipping this hard up here. I mean, it's really windy. Uh, big does are fair game here. I've got a, the only tag I have is a buck tag, but here in Pennsylvania, during the flintlock muzzleloader season, you're allowed to fill your buck tag with a doe. So I've done that in years past, and uh, unless a legal buck comes out here, I certainly won't be picky with a flintlock. I've actually never killed a buck with a flintlock. I've never even shot at a buck with a flintlock, so that would be. Uh, pretty cool feat to accomplish if I was able to get a buck with a flintlock, but we'll take a mature doe either way. We'll see what happens. Tonight isn't looking too hot for us. We, uh, I think we got skunked due to these 35 mile an hour wind gusts. Didn't see any critters tonight, but we're going to be back after them here in a few days. And uh, at that point, I'm thinking we're going to have uh, some better luck seeing deer. I'm hoping we'll, we'll have some snow on the ground and hopefully better conditions with when it comes to the wind. So this video is to be continued. Have a good one everybody. Welcome back everybody. It is Saturday the 8th of January and I'm over here at Slava's and uh, last time I hunted here I hunted on the other side of the road. Got skunked. So today I, I'm back on uh, 
this side and it looks pretty promising we have quite a few deer tracks out here from last night we got all this snow last night so you can see all up along the edge here we've got tracks that's about a hundred and probably 40 yards to where the bulk of those tracks are which is suitable for me with this foot walk the tracks I really like are these ones that come right through here that would be fantastic I don't see many tracks down at the bottom of the field at all but uh, I was greeted by a sleeping mouse when I got in here so I rudely wake, woke him up but we've got some frigid weather it's 17 degrees uh, this morning it was one so these things should be up and looking for some food to try to keep them carbohydrates up and keep warm I have a feeling a lot of them are probably down across the road from here in the corn but looks like there are some stragglers up here so we'll see what happens tonight far for the muzzleloader unless they come out all the way across the field. If I was sitting where I was sitting my first muzzleloader hunt of the year they would be right up my they would be looking into my gun barrel right about now. It's fantastic. I don't know what spooked them. Here comes a bunch more.
All the other deer did. I'm going to get a shot. He's going to have to come up. He's too far. in the woods. Dang it. Me. still see glimpses of that buck walking in the woods down there he was the only one that didn't come out up here into the field where I could get a shot at him up here close He'll still come up here by the end of the by the time it gets dark, who knows? There comes another buck. A little one. That's the third buck I've seen so far. One of those does must be smelling weird or something. This is odd behavior for January eighth. Do you know if I would have been in that same spot I was a few days ago, I would have been in the chips. Looks like he shed one side or broke it off.
did not anticipate seeing that buck. That's actually the same buck that made a scrape about 65 yards from me in the corner when I was archery hunting down here. I think it was like the first week, or no, the second week of uh, November. He ripped up a scrape right there in the corner. Uh, a few weeks ago, he broke off one of the points. I'm not sure which one he broke off. I think it was his G2 on his uh, left side. But it's it's really exciting to see that deer live through the season because he's going to be really special next year. If he would come up here, he might not live through the season. I could have shot one of those does. I had them does right here at like 40 yards. But once I saw that buck, I'm like, crap, I don't want to. Where are the odds? All them deer come right up by me and he stays the only one that stays down there on the edge of the field. Just my luck. I still thought about once that buck went back in the woods. I had it, the doe come right back by and I tried to stop her right here at like 30 yards and she wasn't having it. So. Now I've got that one horn spike out here. That that ten point ended up just kind of going down over the hill. That's that's officially the biggest buck I've ever seen while flintlock hunting. So that's a pretty cool feat. That little buck's looking back down in the woods down there. It'd be something if that 10 point came back up to the field and came up through here where these does and went. We're going to keep our eyes peeled. There must be another deer coming, he's all bristled up. I don't see any other deer, but he's acting like something's over there. a couple out of the ravine right there that's where that buck went down into so maybe he's gonna be coming out behind him hopefully boy that big doe staring me down another one just stepped out behind him there's five of them. Oh, well, I just said more deer come out here at the end of the field. I can see them pretty good with a naked eye, but you probably can't see them all through the camera. I guess if you zoom out, you can. Three doe.
Made it back to the house from the muzzleloader, flintlock muzzleloader hunt, and that was a pretty exciting hunt for January 8th. Was not anticipating seeing that, that nice 10 point come up out of the woods like that, but it was a welcome sight. I wish he would have done what all the other deer did. I really thought I was in the game when the mother doe and that small buck came running right up by the shanty, almost as if one of those does were in heat the way they were acting. It was kind of odd. Uh, you know, all them deer came right up by me and that big buck just had the sixth sense to stay down by the woods and he kind of walked up the edge of the woods and then walked back in. But uh, either way, it was awesome. That's the biggest buck I've seen ever while flintlock hunting. So I can check that off the list now. And uh, what I'm most excited about is the fact that I believe that buck will make it to next year as long as he doesn't get hit by a car or shot in the next week with a flintlock or crossbow. I think he's going to make it and with that we're going to have a really exciting deer to hunt next year up there. So uh, I think that might have been my last chance to get out. Uh, I think flintlock might end next Saturday. I'm not positive but it might be Friday. I don't know. I'll have to look. but. Uh, either way, obviously I got to work all week and I'm not going to be able to get out. So this is po possibly my last my last uh, try at it, which is why when that doe came back by after that buck went down, I tried to stop her. I would have shot her. Uh, she was only like 30 yards away, but she wasn't having it and kept running. So anyways, pretty awesome uh, last flintlock hunt. What's Kalia? Oh, she is grating some cheese on some meat, get some chicken. Here. Yeah, look at that. That looks good. Get away. <laughs> looks like we're putting some chicken on on some uh, rice. Yeah, you're getting some extra avocados. No, no avocados Black for me. Beans. 